Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to Harley Country at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Today, this is something I've been looking forward to since I was 12 years old, 1977, and I saw Rocket Rex Staten absolutely ripping on this thing with Marty Tripes and the factory motocross team from Harley Davidson left a lasting impression on I me. Mean, there's two bikes Harley made that I've always lusted after. This one, the 1978 MX250 and the 1977 Harley Davidson Cafe Racer, both of which have become cult classics. This one here, much more rare than the uh, Cafe Racer. They only made 900 of these for one year. Most of them are raced and ruined. This is one of the rare, the only one that we know of that's 100% bone stock original. All the ones I've seen that are restored, like the one that just sold at Mecham a couple months ago for $23,000, was a restored example. And you've heard me say it before, I'll say it again. Once, it, once a cucumber becomes a pickle, well, you can kind of make it back to a cucumber, but it's never really the same. This here, folks, is a cucumber. All stock, all original. It is in stunning condition. It was part of the uh, Jay Wood collection we just purchased. This is a pr his pride and joy. The jersey I'm wearing is nothing short of unobtainium. The only time I've ever seen one was on Rocket Rex Staten and Marty Tripes. I've seen a picture of Rex Staten wearing this jersey on Facebook. He was, uh, he was looking, uh, he's like 60-something years old. He has gray hair and he's skinny. But um, this is the jersey right here. And uh, this is going on display in the museum. Badass. It's a classic badass Harley Davidson 78 jersey. So... Without further ado, I'm going to take it for a ride. The first time I heard this run, Kenny was, well, I was downstairs and I heard and I heard it outside. I was like, wow, what is that? This thing sounds nasty. And uh, I wasn't sure if it was the CR500 or um, or one of the high-performance Yamahas. When I, when I saw it was a Harley, I was like, wow, what a cool piece. So without further ado, if you're reading, watching this video, you probably know more about this bike or as much as I do. So I'm going to fire it up and just demo how it runs. It's stone cold. It has not been started at all. Um today so um it is stone cold and it has a choke on this side right here just turn the gas lever down del ordo carb and give her a kick see how she goes let's see if i can get it first kick what that's what i'm talking about first kick stone cold listen to this thing What's this? it's got a nasty sound to it Now these have become so rare and valuable. This will be one of the few times you actually see one ridden. I've seen the fenders on these alone go for over $1,500. So I really don't have much to compare it to as far as sales data goes. Um, the only ones I've seen sold were the one at Mecham and uh, recently a, a well-worn one for 10,000 sold at auction. So. Listen to this thing. Has the original piggyback Kayaba shocks. The pre-production prototypes of these, I remember they had forks for rear shocks in 77, and then they upgraded to these Kayaba styles. Check out the rear fender on this. Uh, this is a factory original rear fender. This bike's never been flipped over. The original fender has some patina on it, as you'd expect for a 42-year-old plastic fender. But uh, she's a beauty. Drive by down on the road. 
Not every day you get to ride a rare piece of history like this. The only other person I know that owns one of these is the owner of a Harley Davidson dealer who's bought it, bought it brand new and it's been hanging from the ceiling of his dealership since it was brand new. The company that made this bike, engineered it for Harley-Davidson, was a Italian company called Aramachi. They uh, were a manufacturer of airplane engines, so the technology they had to build this two-stroke motor was second to none at the time. And that's one of the reasons Harley-Davidson Harley got involved with them. They were known for making an amazing product. Well, there you have it, folks. Not every day that you get, get to ride a rare factory edition race bike like this. Like I said, uh, there are very few of these left in existence anywhere uh, in this kind of condition, original. There are some restored examples, but 100% original like this, no. Can you check out the chain on this, on this side here? It has original chain on it, has a, like a copper coating on it. Um, we were told the tires were original on it. Uh, there's no date code on, on bikes from this era on the tires uh, that, that we could find, but it's a, a four and a half by 18 on the rear and a uh, 300 by 21 on the front, I believe. Um, I can't actually read the, yeah, 300 by 21 on the front. So we believe these are the original tires. Definitely the plastics, everything else is original. The tank still has a nice shine on it, still has a nice leather belt on there. The motor looks beautiful. We told the, the, the guys in the shop uh, when they changed the oil, went through all the fluids and everything on this and the air filter, said, we said, do not touch this bike up. Do not put a paintbrush anywhere near this. So we didn't touch up the frame, the pegs. Everything was left exactly the way it came to us. And as far as we know, exactly the way it came out of the box. Again, this is part of the Jay Wood collection. Um, the fenders have some patina on them. They are 40 two years old so uh, you know they have some white spots on them maybe that's a little sun fading I'm not sure but um Kenny is there anything else you'd like to add about this bike I know you were really jazzed about this uh, getting this bike in here also this is the first one that I've seen in my life so um, I was I had the pleasure of riding the bike one of the first guys in the shop and uh, uh, we were really excited to get this one running and she absolutely barks. One of the things I always encourage people to do is take a good close look at the frame rails on the, on a bike when you buy a, a, an off-road bike. You can see the frame rail on, on this bike is in outstanding condition. Usually they're all bashed in. It has a little bit of rash on it and uh, maybe one tiny ding right here. Um, I'm not sure if that's a factory uh, uh, it, uh, or if, that, if that's from, from riding. But Even the more common bikes you find are dime a dozen smashed. The, um, yeah, this, this side of the frame here um, is like it just came out of the box. There's not a single ding on it or anything. So there's one little pea-sized ding on the other side. Other than that, the rims look great. Uh, the chrome on the forks looks excellent. The bars look good. Uh, these are these are um, the original Magura uh, grips on this bike. They're in brand new condition. These are the original Magura performance. Uh, what are they? Tomaselli. Italian uh, lever covers. They look like they just came out of the box on the left and right. That's because 
one did just come out. Oh, one just did come out of the box. Kenny just told me that the, one of these is an NOS brand new one that came with the bike. So um, there you have it. I mean, not much more to say. Good luck finding a nicer one. Uh, you know that the new ones are bringing, no, uh, or the restored ones are bringing north at 20000 at auction. This is an unrestored original example. I would, I, I would rather have this than a restored one because you know exactly what it is. It's never been destroyed. So it's I, a low hour original. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, this, this is Ken Jr. We will we'll also be putting up for sale a whole lot of NOS parts for, for this model. Of seven That's right. Yeah, the previous owner, the collector, he bought everything he could find on the internet for NOS parts. So we've got a new cylinder. We've got all kinds of stuff that comes with this. Not that, 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 that came with the collection. Uh, when we purchase the motorcycle, it's all going to be sold separately. So look in the the, um, the tab. Uh, it, you look in the uh, description tab on the video, Kenny. Is that what it is? First link at the top of the description. The first link at the top of the descri to description will, will be a link to our auctions, in, in and you'll find in the parts lot all the Harley Davidson accessories and parts that he had collected uh, are being sold with uh, uh, the bike uh, separately. But they're going to be sold at auction also. So. Um, that's about it. I really don't have much else to say other than uh, this is the first one we've got in uh, 1,700 bikes we've had roll through the machine, the museum. We haven't even seen in the thousands of bikes that have showed up here and all the times I go to the AMCA events. Yeah, it's just not something you're going to see on a, on a, again, you know, uh, a like new MX250. So if you've been thinking about buying one of these, now's your chance. As always, uh, the proceeds are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum, so it's going to a good cause. What's that? Oh, yeah. I'm wearing the original factory jersey from 1978. It's a large. It's in like new condition. There's no damage to it anywhere. It's not a reproduction. This is original jersey. And um, we're not sure if we're going to auction this or not. It's going. We don't want to sell it. But it may end up it may end up in the auction or if you're really interested in it, give us a call. But we're putting this with the museum stuff. So good luck bidding on it. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Do you want to leave it in the museum on display? We'd love to have it. If you want to come pick it up, that's fine too. Um, we can ship it anywhere in the world. We can get it to the UK for about $750, anywhere in the US for $750 or less. Give us a call for an exact quote. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America for building kick-ass motorcycles like this. Over and up.